For only the third time in human history, we have spotted an interstellar object flying through our solar system. It's one of the oldest comets we've ever seen, and right now, it's heading towards Mars. In this video, let's talk about how we know this new comet is from interstellar space, how old we think it is, why it's kind of strange, and how it compares to the only other two objects that we've seen before that were from outside our solar system. Oumuamua in 2017, Borisov in 2019, and now Comet Atlas in 2025. These are the only three confirmed interstellar objects that we've ever seen, so it's exciting that we've got this third one to add to the club. Officially named 3i slash Atlas, or these less catchy names, but colloquially referred to as Comet Atlas. This new visitor was spotted on the 1st of July, 2025. Astronomers using the Atlas telescope in Chile spotted a relatively typical looking comet, or at least it looked typical at first, until they got some more details on it. The longer they watched it, the more they realized that its orbit wasn't elliptical around the sun like most comets. It was hyperbolic instead. This means that actually it's not orbiting the sun like most comets we know of, it's just passing through our solar system. You'd expect one of our normal solar system comets to have a roughly circular or elliptical orbit around the sun, whereas Atlas's trajectory looks like this. The shape of the orbit, combined with the fact that Comet Atlas is moving incredibly quickly, tells us that there is no way this thing is orbiting the sun. This is an object from outside our solar system, and it just happens to be passing through our spot of space at the moment. It has an ellipticity eccentricity value of 6.2, which is a lot. Anything with an eccentricity more than one can't be orbiting the sun. Comet Atlas is going to pass pretty close to Mars too, but it won't get too close to Earth, and it definitely has no chance of hitting our planet. Once Atlas had been spotted for the first time, going back through older images actually allowed for pre-discovery images to be found too. Comet Atlas has been found in images from around mid-June, once we knew what we were looking for in those slightly older images. All of this confirms that Comet Atlas is indeed the third interstellar object ever seen, after Oumuamua and Borisov. That's actually what the 3 I stands for in the new object's name. It was the third interstellar object we've detected, and we did that with the Atlas telescope. 3i slash Atlas. So it's not from around here. But what kind of object is Comet Atlas? Well, while Oumuamua was one of the strangest cosmic objects we've ever spotted, it had no visible coma or tail and was a really elongated object. And Borisov was a textbook comet. Atlas is somewhere in between the two. Even though it's still quite distant and faint, we're already seeing a faint coma and short tail, meaning that it's actively outgassing, just like all of the homegrown comets we have in our solar system. That said, it is moving much faster, with a speed somewhere between 36 and 61 kilometers per second. That's 137,000 to 220,000 kilometers per hour. It's also quite a bit bigger than the other interstellar comets we've found. Our best estimate right now is that its core is about 10 kilometers across, although there is a pretty big range of 0.8 to 20 kilometers that it could be and still be consistent with our images. Again, that's bigger than both of the other interstellar objects we've seen before. Quite interestingly, Comet Atlas also came from the direction of the Sagittarius constellation, meaning it came from the direction of the galactic center. I mean, our black hole in the Milky Way is called Sagittarius A star because it's also in the Sagittarius constellation. So we know this is right in the direction of the very center of the Milky Way. It might have been ejected from a young star system after a planetary collision or tossed out by a passing star millions of years ago. It likely formed or at least passed through the very center of the Milky Way. That's pretty cool and a really interesting object to find. We also think our new visitor is one of the oldest comets we've ever seen, around 7 billion years old, meaning it will have formed around a very old star and has likely been drifting through interstellar space ever since. This would make it about 3 billion years older than our entire solar system, making it an intriguing object indeed. It was already ancient when our star and planets were being born. 
This here is what Comet Atlas looked like when it was imaged with VLT, the Very Large Telescope. The time lapse covers about 15 minutes of its trajectory, taken on the 3rd of July 2025, just two days after the comet was discovered. At the end of that video, we see all the frames stacked into a single image, the deepest and best to date we have of this interstellar object, although other ones are flooding in all the time, so I'll put any on screen that have appeared since I recorded this video. This record won't hold for long, as the comet is getting closer to Earth and becoming less faint as a result. While it's currently more than 600 million kilometers away from the Sun, 3i slash Atlas is traveling towards the inner solar system and is expected to make its closest approach to Earth in late October 2025. Somewhat annoyingly, it will actually be hiding behind the sun at that point, but it will become observable again in December 2025, as it makes its way back to interstellar space. Telescopes around the world, including the VLT, will continue to observe this rare celestial visitor for as long as they can, to find out more about its shape, size, composition and its origin. Its closest approach will be on October 29th, 2025, and it will bring it within 1.35 AU from the Sun. That's 1.35 astronomical units, or 1.35 times the distance from the Earth to the Sun, equivalent to about 125 million miles. Its closest approach to the Earth will have it at a distance of 1.6 AU, or just under 150 million miles. That's also just inside Mars's orbit, so it will be relatively close to us and our red neighbor, but in no way a threat to us on Earth. Having said that, if you do have a decent telescope, there should be a few months where you can spot the comet for yourself, and it will be even easier from the southern hemisphere. It should stay observable through September 2025, then disappear behind the sun for a bit, and re-emerge in October, fading into the darkness then as it leaves us behind forever. There will then be a brief time in 2026 when Atlas gets quite close to Jupiter, but it will sadly be too faint for the Juno spacecraft to image it from its orbit around the Jovian system. So is there any reason for us to care about all this, other than it's a cool thing to spot? Well, I think it's something we should care about because it's a sample of another solar system that we can study from a closer distance than we normally could. It's literally coming straight towards us, and we don't have to go anywhere to study it. This comet formed around a different star to ours, and possibly even in a completely different part of the galaxy. It could tell us about the elements, compounds and structures that are forming a galaxy away from us, and that can be fascinating. Comet Atlas is bigger, brighter and more active than the other interstellar objects we've seen too. In the future, ESA is planning a mission that could fly by and visit some yet-to-be-discovered object like Atlas and study one of these interstellar objects up close. Unfortunately, this won't be ready in time for Atlas itself, but it's something to look forward to in the future for similar discoveries. Even more excitingly is the brand new Vera C. Rubin Observatory that's just come online and is ready to observe the entire southern sky every night. This new telescope is amazing at observing asteroids and comets as part of its survey. I have a full video explaining the observatory, its mission, and the first ever images it released on the channel, so I'll link that in the description below if you want to check it out. I would love to hear if you're excited by this discovery, if you care about us discovering another interstellar object, or even if you plan to try and see it through a telescope while it's visible. Let me know down in the comments, or leave any questions down there too. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye!